You've just made a beautiful but basic lotion that you love, and now you'd like to incorporate some fancy ingredients to make it truly special, say an anti-aging active or something to make it soothing. Adjusting a formulation to include a new ingredient is a fairly straightforward bit of math, but making sure that that ingredient is a good fit for the formulation takes a bit of extra thought. Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me. Today I'm going to share three common formulating mistakes that will waste your ingredients and ruin your formulations, and of course, how to avoid them. Mistake number one is improper care. I've got a bit of a clothing metaphor for you. When you're buying new clothes, one of the first things that you should do is look at the care label so that you don't shrink your brand new trousers in a too hot dryer or destroy a dry clean only blouse by chucking it in a hot wash cycle. Ideally, you would be looking at this care label before you buy the item of clothing so that, you know, if you're just the sort of person where dry clean only is not going to work with your life, that you don't buy clothes that are dry clean only. The care labels in our garments tell us how to take care of our clothing so that our clothes can live their best lives and so that we can choose clothing that, you know, fits into our lives. Researching your ingredients is like reading the care label for your clothing. It's really, really important to make sure that you are taking care of the ingredient, you know, giving it what it needs to succeed and making sure that, you know, you know what you're doing with it. Research your ingredients, ideally before you buy them, so you know what they need to be their best selves. How much are you supposed to use? Which phase are you supposed to add it to? Does the final formulation need to be a certain pH in order for this ingredient to be effective or stable? Is that ingredient compatible with everything else in the formulation? While our ingredients don't come with a handy dandy list of instructions stitched to the side seam, you can get this information for free in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. I have entries on over 200 ingredients there over at humblebeeandme.com. If the ingredient you want to work with isn't in my DIY encyclopedia yet, drop a comment below and let me know. I'll pop it on the to-do list. You should be able to get all the information you need from your suppliers as well. Most of the ingredients I love working with are pretty easy going and simple to incorporate into our formulations. But if as you're researching an ingredient, it's starting to feel like a dry clean only kind of ingredient and you're not there yet in your formulating, that is totally okay. Pop it on your wish list for later, save your money and come back to it when you've got a bit more experience under your belt. So our second mistake is using way too much or way too little of something. For this, I have a food metaphor for you. Actives in our formulation are a lot like seasoning in cooking. You want to use the right amount and there's no points for using so little that you can't even taste it or so much that it completely overwhelms the dish and ruins it. There's definitely some wiggle room for personal preference and the precise thing that you are making, but there's definitely such a thing as not enough and such a thing as too much. And you wanna make sure you don't do either of those things. That's that's why it's so important to know the recommended usage ranges for your ingredients. This is something I always include in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia and something that your supplier should always be telling you. You'll also want to remember that a dish can be ruined by adding too many different flavors to it. After all, if some flavor is good, more is better, right? When you've got a bunch of new ingredients that you're really excited about working with, especially if you're working to solve some sort of a problem, it can be really tempting to put all of them into one form formulation so that you end up with this like mega concoction that would be borderline magical. I definitely did this in my early formulating days with a lot of anti-acne products, just putting like everything I had that the supplier said could be good for acne into one thing. Unfortunately, nothing that I created in that way worked and most of the time really didn't smell very good, wasn't very enjoyable to use and ended up getting thrown away. When working with brand new ingredients, I recommend introducing them to your formulations one at a time so that you don't accidentally create something that is irritating to the skin or just really unpleasant. And our last big way to waste your expensive ingredients is by using them in formulations where they can't do the thing that you want them to do. You wouldn't use a lovely truffle oil 
to lubricate your lawnmower and you wouldn't scrub a toilet with a silk scarf. So please don't make similarly wasteful decisions with your expensive ingredients. The biggest culprit here is usually wash off formulations like hand washes, cleansing balms and shampoos. These formulations are on our skin and our hair for mere moments before getting sent right down the drain. Most really brag worthy ingredients like expensive carrier oils, vitamins and peptides need more than a few seconds to do any good. So including them in a wash off product is just a straight up waste. As always, make sure you are researching your ingredients so you know if there's any benefit to including them in the thing that you want to include them in. If you're looking for a more instructive nuts and bolts guide to incorporating new ingredients into your formulations, please make sure you are reading the partner blog post for this video. As always, it's completely free and linked in the description box below this video. Now you know how to make sure your lovely ingredients are happy and effective in your formulations. So now you just need a formulation to add them to. Might I recommend watching this video next to learn how to make a beautiful all natural lotion that is just waiting for you to customize it with some of your favorite actives.